Hello everybody, it's Mike here at from Scratch. Welcome back to the ongoing dev game free game development resource guide. This is a collection of all the best of free game development in one place by theme or topic. And today what we are looking at is 3D graphics applications. And there's actually quite a few of them. So we're best off to jump right in. So let's do that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is available over on dev game. Just go to dev game forward slash free and you will find the list as exists today. We are obviously filling in more categories as we go. And if you've been following along already, quick note, I moved 2D graphics animation tools into animation tools category. But what we are focusing on today is 3D graphics applications. This is a collection of 3D applications that are free in some form or another. And there are an absolute ton of them, and um, they're in no particular order except this first one. This is Blender. I start with Blender because people are waiting for Blender. They want to hear about Blender. They love Blender. I love Blender. And with Blender 2.8 just around the corner, it is getting better and better. This is the ultimate free open source project out there. If you haven't already heard of Blender, just stop watching this video and go learn about Blender. It is a great application. And that's why I started off with it is a veritable Swiss army knife. It does full 3D, 2D, um, video editing, even, uh, you name it, Blender probably does it. So uh, it is the one that most people use. Next up, we have no mouse focus. Here we go. Uh, B for artist. Now what this is, is a version or fork of Blender that has been optimized for an artist workflow. It has a different UI, a different help layer. It's just basically designed to be a more accessible Blender. Before Blender 2.8 came out and the UI was a bit more of a mess. So this made a lot more sense. It'd be interesting to see what happens with B for artists with Blender 2.8 around the corner, however. But this is ultimately a facelifted version of Blender that is designed to work more towards artists as opposed to programmers. At least that's the theory. Um, next up, we have Daz 3D. Daz 3D is a human character kind of modeling software. A lot of it is designed for you to use Daz 3D products, which are um, available for purchase, and some of them are free. Uh, my one warning with you is in order to get Daz 3D, you will have to register using a um, email address, and they are going to spam the crap out of that address. So do be aware of that up front. I'm going to do another video on Daz at some point in the future. It is a very cool character creation tool. It's a lot like Poser, if you've ever used Poser, except for Daz is initially available for free, for free, sorry. So it's modeling, rendering, and animation. Next up, we have Hexagon. Now, what is Hexagon? Hexagon is a 3D modeling application that Daz ships with their other tools. It is completely free. It is getting a little outdated, if I am honest, but it is a full-blown 3D modeling tool. Once again, you do need to use an email and once again they'll spam the crap out of you but if you committed to using Daz 3d for your character and you needed to do things like create props or um uniforms or things like that hexagon could be a good place to start now next up we have wings 3d wings 3d is something from my past i absolutely love wings 3d back in the day it's kind of getting a little old now but basically this was an open source implementation of uh, Nishiman or um, Nendo, two very uh, kind of niche, if I'm honest, 3D pol polygonal modeling tools in the past. So the big thing was winged edge polygons. Back used to be when you're doing a lot of your modeling work, you were limited to triangles and quads. And this kind of allowed you to have um, more than that. A lot of times they're called N-gons or B-mesh, I think is what Blender called them. And in the case of wings, it was winged edged data structure. And this allowed you to do modeling and just modeling. That's all this is, but in a completely different and lightweight workflow. It hasn't really been updated that much because it was written in Erlang, which not a whole lot of people work with. So I don't think a lot of people got behind this project from a development perspective, but it is a very unique 3D polygonal modeler. And I was a huge fan of this. But since then, the tools in things like Blender have gotten so much better and N-Gons have become ubiquitous. It's kind of taken away a bit of Wings as magic, but it's still worth checking out. Uh, next up, we have Make Human. Now, this one is more like Daz than anything else. It started life as a plugin for Blender, but is now a standalone application. I featured it in the past. By the way, all of these things I featured, I have a learn more link. So if you want to see my video on Make Human, uh, it is linked on the guide. But this is a human character creation and animation system. Definitely worth checking out. And it is still nice and tightly integrated in Blender. So your results work very well with Blender. Next up, we got Vroid. Vroid is like Make Human, except excuse me, it is anime focused. So if you want to create um, anime style characters, 
Vroid is a free tool. It's actually written in Unity. Uh, it's quite cool. A lot of it is very Japanese, as you can tell by the website in front of you. So trying to figure out exactly your way around things might be a bit tricky. But this is another human character creation and animation tool out there. Next up, we have Rocket 3F. This is a dedicated modeling and rendering tool. Uh, it's got a very easy to learn but powerful suite of modeling tools. I did just do a video on this, so I would recommend checking it out. If you want something more streamlined in your modeling approach than something like Blender, do check out Rocket 3F. It is one of the better dedicated modeling tools that is out there. And in addition to um, Rocket 3F, there's also Envil or Nivel. I don't know how you pronounce that. It used to be called Void Worlds. This is actually the technology that Rocket 3F is built on. Um, so it's basically Rocket 3F's functionality with a completely different user interface. Now you're going to find that both of them have a lot of abilities though when it comes to just dedicated 3D modeling. Next up we have Neo Barack. Uh, this one is, uh, I covered it recently, it's kind of a unique application. It is for modeling and uh, modeling, painting, and sculpting. It has a very um, different approach than a lot of other applications. Neobarock 2.0 is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but I did do a video covering Neobarock 1.1.3. The workflow is very different from a lot of other tools, but again, it is completely free. It is quite powerful. It works very well. It is definitely one I recommend you check out if you have never heard of it. After that, we have... SketchUp. Now, SketchUp is a tool that has been around for a very long time. SketchUp itself was originally, or for a point in time, was owned by Google and given away for creating uh, Google Earth models. It does a lot of that kind of stuff, architectural design, mechanical engineering kind of work. It's got a very unique workflow in the way things work. And what you'll find is that SketchUp is free in the cloud. Now, there's also an online version, a more functional version. If so, if you want to uh, download and have the local EXE kind of copy of it, you need to subscribe. But the version available in the cloud with a subset of features is completely free. It's com there's a unique workflow to SketchUp. If you've never used it, I do recommend you check it out. I know some people use it for game level prototyping, for example. Uh, after SketchUp, we have Mesh Molder. Now, Mesh Molder is a free 3D sculpting application. I did a video on this one, so if you want to see how the workflow works, if it works for you, it is for, um, again, sculpting, painting, and so on. Uh, it's like working with virtual clay. It is a lot like 321 Sculptress, which is the next one on this list. Sculptress was a free 3D sculpting application that was purchased by Pixelogic. It was a fan project to kind of emulate um, ZBrush. And Pixelogic bought it and gave it away for free. And then haven't really updated in ages. So it used to be a, an absolutely great sculpting tool and it is still a free download, but it has not been updated in a long time. Uh, next up we have Vectory. Now Vectory 3.0 just released. I'm gonna do a video on that as well. I covered an earlier version of Vectory. Uh, it is a entirely browser-based 3D modeling, texturing, so on application. It's kind of like 3D Studios Max or Blender Lite. It runs entirely in the browser. Um, it also has full integration, I believe, with Google Poly, Polygon Collection, so you can get a lot of models placed directly inside of it. It's a good level prototyping tool, to be honest. Again, I covered the earlier version, and I'll be looking at 3.0 as well. So if it doesn't turn you off the idea of working in your browser, Vectory might be a great one for you to check out. Now, next up, we've got Magic of Voxel. Now, Magic of Voxel probably shouldn't make this list because it's kind of a 3D modeler, but not really. It's a voxel modeler. And there are other voxel modelers, and none of them made the list, but Magic of Voxel makes it because it is absolutely amazing. The work that people are doing with Magic of Voxel absolutely staggers my mind. And on top of all that, it is completely free. So if you're looking for a voxel-based 3D modeler, Magic of Voxel is definitely one you should check out. I've done a couple of videos on this on the channel already, so be sure to check one of those for an idea of what Magic of Voxel is all about. Now next up, we have Autodesh Mesh Mixer, which is incredibly hard to say three times fast, and it is the most insane insane program ever. I just did a video on it. I do recommend checking it out. It just, it doesn't make sense why this exists. Autodesk make this thing available completely free. The entire idea behind it is for creating 3D printable models. And, but you can basically, you can import object files, you can export object files. But on top of that, it is probably one of the best kit bashing kits out there. Take all your various different 3D models and when you want to kind of combine them together, Mesh Mixer is the tool to do that. So it's well named in that regard. And then on top of that, it's also one of the best sculpting applications out there. So once you've kind of combined all your meshes together, you can then use um, their sculpting tools and even their texturing tools to really kind of finish it and then export that out to whatever file format is ideal for you. 
And once again, it is completely free. I don't really understand why it exists, but hey, I'm not complaining. Um, next up, we have Canova. This is from Foundry, the people that make Moto. This is a 3D sculpting application designed for VR. It is an early access and is currently completely free. I did do a hands-on with this guy. Now, it hasn't been updated that much, but it did get an update in uh, December. Uh, so definitely got an update then. So that's nice to see. And this is kind of a VR-based sculpting application. Now, you don't need to be in VR, though. You can use it as a desktop application. So if you are using or wanting to get your hands on a sculpting application, especially if you want to work in VR, do be sure to check out Canova. Uh, next up, we have Clara IO. Clara IO is a lot like Vectory. It is for modeling, animating, rendering directly in the browser. It is also a huge collection of Something like hundreds of thousands or possibly even millions of resources are also available at your fingerprints. Fingerprints, that doesn't make any sense. Fingertips. Um, so this is online based 3D modeling. Definitely worth checking out. I have done a video on this. It was quite a while ago, so I'll probably do an updated version as well. But if you're not averse to working inside of your web browser or you want to work in your web browser, Clara IO is probably the biggest player in this space. Uh, Next up, I am including this mostly because if I didn't, people would say, hey, where the hell's Milkshape? Well, here's Milkshape. It's, uh, I don't know. It, it has this fan base. I don't understand any of it. Basically, it started life back in the days of like Quake model creation, and some people absolutely loved this thing. So I included it on the list. There it is. It's absolutely anxious at this point. So I... Um, I'm leaving it at that. Now what you see next, this is actually it running. Uh, this is Sculpt GL. I just did a video on this. It is a browser-based sculpting application. And I have to say, it is a uh, it's, it's an awesome program. I absolutely love this guy. Do be sure to check out that video. I think you will be really impressed with what Sculpt GL can do. And on top of that, it is completely free and open source on GitHub. Uh, you can also download this and run it as a... Um, um, electron application locally on your computer so it doesn't have to be in the browser and it is really quite cool and next we got meta i have no idea how to say this meta sequia uh yeah it, this is another one i actually have almost no experience with this guy to be honest uh, but there is a completely free version of it available it's got um modeling animation rendering tools in there uh I, I do need to jump into it in more depth. I'm including it because there is a completely free version. Again, I don't have a lot of experience with it and I don't even know how to say that. So that is it. That is the list of 3D graphics applications on the free game development list. Now this list is of course evolving. So if I miss something from it you think should be included, do let me know and I will add it. I will revisit these lists probably on an annual basis. So as things are added and taken off, I will do an updated follow-up. So hopefully you found a new cool free 3D tool on that list somewhere and if I did miss one again please do let me know and I will add it for everyone else to enjoy all right that's it for now talk to you all later goodbye